Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. This is my inversion pour ring. You could use a cookie cutter or even a bottle top, like so. I cut the top off of, or the top off a tennis ball can, but I'm going to use that, I think. And my timer is set. I'm going to do an inversion pour, traveling inversion pour, floating inversion pour, whatever they call them. <laughs> And I'm going to do a ring pour, a uh, traveling ring pour, not a ring ring, but an overlapping ring. And I'm going to start with the color that I really want in there, which is gold. And I'm just going to keep adding colors I like, as long as they'll come out of the bottle. That one is almost coming out of the bottle. It does not matter to me if these wind up being somewhat dirty as in a dirty ring pour cup sort of thing. But I think I might want to use some more of that, so I better clean out the tip. They were all cleaned out. <laughs> when you shake the bottles up, when you use them, that's when, if it's hot out, it becomes an issue. So this is my neon purple from Folk Art. And I am gonna use some white, the end of my white metallic from Anita's, some Prussian blue, for, probably from Grumbacher. I think I'm going to put in a little more. What am I going to put in there? I think I want some magenta with iridescent pearl medium in it. Or iridescent pearl fine from Golden in it. And some more turquoise. And maybe some of my color shifting turquoise right there from Folk Art. And boy, I'm tempted by the pink, don't do it. And the purple. And I think I'm going to be really rude and I'm going to put that orange right down the middle and see what happens. I'm going to grab my stuff out of the way. There's some enamel. Some black enamel left over from earlier. Put that dish in there. Remove this over to the side. Grab my... There it is really hot out here so I, I claim brain meltage for for my excuse why I did not unwrap my 16 by 20 inch canvas and I want an edge of black just because I can which is the name of my first book on the Amazon link under show more well actually it's on the link tree link <laughs> that might or might not be it's probably close to show more under the video my paint pouring recipe is also under show more under the video, but I've now changed my recipe. So if you need to ask for a new recipe, I use GAC 800 instead of the Decor pouring medium. GAC 800 and Floetrol mixed with my paint. All right, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to use an edge catcher, which is nothing more than a sheet of plastic held against the side of the canvas so that the paint doesn't escape. And that will, in theory, let me cover everything. So let me put my glasses on and grab my white paint. I'm going to put a puddle in the middle, just the size of my inversion receptacle. I'll put a little more around it, although it wouldn't bother me if it was black. So maybe I'll do that too. All right, now what I want to do is put some colors in here until it starts to float, and it may or may not do that. <laughs> I kind of thought of making another color, a cup of colors up, and then pouring them into that. These are all kind of the same, same colors I was using. little more gold and see if I can float it. Where are you, gold? Hello? <laughs> okay. This, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm feeling dubious. 
Yeah, that's a little better. This is my orange, my 24 karat gold with orange in it, which I like a lot. I never use this magenta. Let's use some of that. Too bloody. I'm going to give myself the pleasure of some orange. Hopefully this, this doesn't turn out horribly. And some lighter orange to go with it. And I definitely want some blue. They're not my favorite colors right at the moment, but sometimes the weirder they are, the better they come out. So there's the fix-it-all neon purple from Folk Art. Oh! Speaking of fix-it-all, there's that. Now do I want to splooge anything into that? Yes. Okay. So, now I'm going to move some of these out of here. Whatever I need, I can always use. And I've got my other... Oh boy. Just dragging everything out a little bit with the edge of the inversion pour container. I'll let that relax on my Lola Fee silicone mat. I want some more of that turquoise right in the front here. It's far too much of that purple and not enough of some other things going on here. I have no idea what the, what's going to happen with this, but I'm going to save the rest of that for right now. I'm really tempted to take a straw. and blow into my inversion pour to see what that looks like. Actually, I got black paint dripping over in a bunch of places. So I've never done this before. So I have no idea what it could turn out to look like. The white base often will make pastels. Basically just want to start out by covering the naked canvas. Glad I saved that paint. There's an awful lot of that white in the center and I'm not loving it yet. The nice thing about the edge catcher coming into play could, could definitely be that once I throw the paint onto it, then I can bring it back again. So let's go ahead and do that. with a large puddle. Run it down over there. And make an entirely new texture before I decide to come back and use what's in my cup, which is definitely an option. This is different, really different. I'm going to use my straw. Just to see what we can expose. And I'm going to also grab my Oxo Omelette Turning Spatula and take the paint off my edge catcher. Put some of that right here because I'm seeing some canvas. I'll let that go all along the edge. And I've got a skewer and I know how to use it. Well, maybe not in this case, but we'll see. Just 
This makes some outrageous texture. Have some fun. There's always chain for that too. This is not the one I want to use chain on yet, at least not yet. And I can swipe through stuff, depends on everything. My bracelet has decided to stick to my hand. I'm sure it doesn't come as a surprise to anyone. All right, so I'm flowing paint again and I don't have to put it back on the canvas, but I can. So I can take this paint and I could move it up if I wanted. I'm gonna rock the edge catcher. And then I'm gonna let that flow right back in. And I'm loving that black squiggly thing that's traveling across. And those other patterns. I want some paint on my bottom half down here. And I'm wondering if I put a line of paint right up that edge, if that will be a good facilitator. I'm getting, ooh, I've got a lot of paint over here on my edge catcher. I'm not sure where that should actually go, but that's where it went. I'm getting very painty. I don't know if I can move those beautiful colors down fast enough to beat the white before it takes all the good stuff away. definitely interesting and I still have paint left in my cup so let's see what we're gonna do with that I've got a little more left. This is cool, <laughs> I think. Very, very cool. I think it's time for a clean edge catcher because I don't want to take anything off of that one. A clean edge one is a relative term. I wish I had a stretcher bar on the back of this. I'm gonna have to take a risk and stick my thumb in. All that paint can come right back onto the canvas again. Sorry, I'm a little out of range, I'm pretty sure. Loving all that. That's very cool. I want a small edge catcher. Do I have one? No, but I got a box. Let's use that. My stretching areas are cool because they're giving me all kinds of cells where the inversion pore is stretched out. Okay, so I used my box and I'm going to use it to cover things. And I've got some really beautiful patterns up there. Do I want to stretch them out a little more? Very cool. Not unhappy I tried this at all. Kind of like all this stuff in the corner that's not staying, but that's okay. I can always tip it back again, too. Loving, loving those weird zigzags. Those are cool. So what else should I do? Not much, I don't think. Whatever paint I've got on my edge catcher over here, I can just decide that's a great place to put it right on the edge of the canvas to cover the edge with a cool pattern. So that's what I'm doing. And the same with any missing spots. That's just wild. I do sell my artwork and my email address, should you want to contact me, is underneath the link tree. Underneath the video there's show more and my email address may or may not be right around there, above or below it. It's definitely there, but I don't know if it's above or below. My mistake in speaking. So I am going to look at this and see if I want to do any minor tweaking like that. Where's my straw? There's my straw. I like the white, but sometimes enough is enough. 
I really just want to play. And I've got... a modified silicone. It's a swipe tool, but it's a hair, hair tool. It's on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is under the link tree, by the way. So I'm pretty well covered and it's definitely seems like time. I don't know what possessed me, honestly. I do things because I can. Hey, this my second book is called Unlimited Possibilities, and it's right next to the first one. And yeah, I am. I'm just having too much fun putting my skewer right into the design. I might be sorry I did that last one. But then again, you can never tell. Because I love experiments. There were some cool things there, but it's still not, not too awful bad. That was probably my bad. Let's get rid of it. All right, I'm going to use a, uh, I'm going to torch to warm the paint to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I use GAC 800 in my recipes now to keep them from cracking. This is a really exciting thing with a lot of stuff going on. And if I've got anything I need to touch up on the edges, I will find the paint hanging around to do so. I love you guys. There's over 88,000 of you. Check out my playlists for created playlists. Uh, all playlists will take you to creative playlists and that will be set up by the hundred and also by the genre. Don't know where that came from. I don't want to do that. I like that black spot. <laughs> I'd better leave it alone. So thank you for all the thumbs up. Thank you for the co wonderful comments. Thank you for the contributions that have helped keep me painting all this time. And if you would like to be included in the monthly drawing, look for the exhibition video on the end screens of any video, and you will find an exhibition video that includes the prizes for the month's drawing. Yeah, no, it's 90, 90 plus degrees out here today, and my brain has melted legitimately, and I'm lucky I can talk at all. Um, Thank you for everything, basically. Thank you for being here. I hope you come again. And look on Expression to start Studio Gallery Appreciation for students on Facebook for, uh, for today's video. I post a lot of times at noon, and I intend on posting on the weekends on Friday night at midnight and Saturday night at midnight also. So I'll be covering my edges for a few minutes, and uh, I'll be seeing you guys anon. Bye for now. Oh, I just want to do it so bad. She's out of control. Actually, I kind of like that. Continued my marks. Never done till I'm done. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I love you. I'll be back. Probably you're gone. This is cool. You guys are cool too. See you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.